to welcome uh, you all to this short PAMA feedback uh, interview uh, based on the, uh, uh, the association uh, of the PAMA with Sugar Research Institute of Fiji in terms of uh, gaining knowledge, getting the knowledge, the resources uh, important for farming cultivation and uh, we will get a brief uh, feedback from her on her experiences and the uh, with the sugarcane uh, farming and uh, what are uh, other uh, basic needs she would uh, need uh, in terms of resources uh, advice uh, from the institute and the industry so let us uh, go to the farmer uh, and uh, uh, we'll let her introduce uh, herself uh, first and then uh, we'll dwell on her, her experiences and how she was introduced uh, into the sugarcane farming. So here we have uh, Miss Salma. To everybody, uh, my name is Salma, and um, I'm not the actual farmer, but I have done all the work. Uh, the land belongs to my dad, and I've de decided to take the responsibilities. And um, so here today is to do a short interview. Yeah, yeah with the Sugar Research uh, Institute of Fiji. Yeah. So what has uh, been your background uh, into farming? How much do you knew about farming before? And uh, basically, uh, your experience with sugarcane farming. How were you introduced to sugarcane farming? Yeah, I have no knowledge, uh, well, I did not have any knowledge about farming uh, uh, before. I've seen sugarcane fields everywhere before but uh, didn't have any experience in going through it. Uh, my dad is uh, kind of old now, but uh, he has still decided to keep his farm, so I've uh, decided to take the responsibilities. Uh, this has been very challenging, as I had no knowledge. I come from a professional field, um, so basically office work, and uh, this has been a very knowledgeable start. Has it changed your thoughts uh, towards sugarcane farming? Basically, the experience, the limited experience that you have uh, till now, I think uh, it will basically mean that you have gained now enough uh, experience to share us, uh, with us uh, like uh, how you thought about sugarcane farming before and how it is for you now. I always believed sugarcane farming was so easy, but uh, when uh, I actually walked into it myself, it uh, wasn't as easy as I had thought. Um, I believe um, that uh, sugarcane farming, there should be a step-by-step -step protocol where everybody should uh, be um, uh, introduced to this so everybody can uh, do farming, uh, which is mainly what the industry is here. question uh, what were the main challenges that you uh, faced uh, when you started with the cane farming and uh, what are some of the ways that you, ha you have tried to counter uh, these challenges the uh, very um, uh, utmost uh, challenge I faced with this one was labor it was hard to find labor and uh, I did not know what the labor rates were for the uh, people to go in and uh, work in the field Okay, it brings us to the main question now uh, uh, with regards to the interview. Uh, this interview is uh, based mainly on uh, the actual farmer feedback on the assistance and the uh, she has uh, received from Sugar Research Institute of Fiji. So, how did you learn about Sugar Research Institute of Fiji? Okay, I did not have uh, very much knowledge uh, about uh, SRIF uh, at all. I happened uh, to uh, be looking for cane seed when I was uh, sent to this office, uh, which uh, happened to be SRIF, and uh, upon questioning about uh, cane seed, uh, I was given more knowledge about SRIF, and, uh, technical help offered, and uh, the visits to the farm and the follow-up and all that. In fact, in terms of technical assistance from SRIF, they soon out that uh, Sugar Research Institute of Fiji has got limited funds and resources, so financial uh, assistance is, is, is a bit of difficult for us. But what more do you look uh, from sugar research in terms of technical uh, advice or in terms of production of materials or uh, any, any, anything uh, in that line? Uh, 
what one does at what step of uh, the time when you're planting cane. Such as myself, I did not have any knowledge of this uh, from the time what to do and how to do, or what is done at what stage of time what to do. Uh, so um, I, protocol would be nice. Uh, what stage you plant, or what time uh, you fertilizer, what time uh, you have to go in and do other work, or what time you need to pull out the weeds and stuff like that. Uh, questions that I had were answered, but uh, I believe that uh, a little groups of meeting, like gang by gang meeting with the I, uh, SRIF, would be nice. A lot of people uh, would be uh, tutored on this, and uh, a lot of people can benefit through this. Uh, questions would be answered and I'm sure for by meetings in groups or a, by gangs or by even by sectors uh, would uh, give uh, more help to the farmers or give more knowledge to the farmers who are out there who uh, have no knowledge or have limited knowledge right now. With this we'd like to thank uh, Ms. Salma again uh, for her time and her, uh, and her views and uh, I'm sure with this uh, a lot of you would get inspired to come visit Sugar Research Institute of Fiji offices and uh, get the necessary information. Pinaka Vakalibu.